Nativity scenes are a hallmark of Christianity. So an atheist nativity sounds like a complete contradiction, but that's exactly what you'll find in Brookville tonight. Nine on your side's Julie O'Neill joins us live from the Franklin County Courthouse and has new information on what could be coming next. You know, Julie? for half a century, the traditional manger scene has graced the lawn next to the Franklin County Courthouse. But now, after a long legal battle waged by people that don't live here, you have a new display. This display right here, uh, not one that is Christian in nature, when a group of atheists put up the manger scene that some had to see for themselves. Instead of Joseph and Mary looking down at baby Jesus, it's our founding fathers gazing at the Bill of Rights in a manger after the Wisconsin-based Freedom From Religion Foundation won a legal battle to make the land next to the Franklin County Courthouse an open forum for all beliefs. Jim Frazee wanted to see it for himself. I don't mind that everybody has a chance to display what they believe, but the problem I have is when outside groups come in, and try to dictate to the local community what they should have up on display and not. Jim Helton with Tri-State Free Thinkers helped put up the display for the group behind it. And Christianity was giving a very specific one-sided viewpoint by the government, uh, which we felt was unfair. And the reason we chose the Bill of Rights is on December 15th, that's when the Bill of Rights was ratified, which gave us freedom of speech, and it also gave us freedom from religion. My husband's fought for our freedom and it just, um, I don't think he's respecting that. Henry and Linda Rose drove over from Milan, Indiana to read the statement for themselves. I know that it's a, it's a given right in the United States to, to speak your mind, but I just do not agree with it at all. I, I just don't. And that's, and that's my right. There is an irony here. They're trying to make themselves look uh, patriotic. Our founding fathers uh, believed in prayer and they believed uh, that God was overseeing the founding of our country, and uh, that's what I believe as well. Now, I spoke with one Franklin County commissioner who says so far no negative comments. He says he believes that's because they came up with a good compromise. That might not be the case next year because a group called the Satanic Temple, another national group, had tried to put up their display this year but couldn't get the display done in time, I'm told. So they may have one up next year. We'll see what happens. In Brookville, Julie O'Neill, nine on your side. Julie, thank you. And outrage.